Consider the data set 78, 82, 85, 88, and 90. Identify the data values that remain the same if 79 is added to the set. So the best way to figure out which values would remain the same is to calculate those values before the value of 79 is added to the data set and then calculate it after that value is added as well and compare them. So first let's find the mean. So we have first the mean of just the original data points would be adding up and finding the sum of 78 plus 82 plus 85 plus 88 plus 90 and dividing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, since that's how many there were. So then that sum is 423 divided by 5, is, is then we have a mean of 84.6. So the original data set has a mean of 84.6. Now let's compare that if we were to add the value of 79. So we're adding a value that's less than the mean to the data set. So think about how that's going to affect the mean. Do you think it's going to remain the same or is it going to increase or decrease? Well, if we add 79 to the data set, we would have to find the sum, we'll call this the new mean. We would have to find the, sum, the same sum of all of those five terms or five data points in the set, but then we would have to add 79. So that's going to be 423, that sum we had, plus now 79 now divided by 6. So that's going to equal 502 divided by 6. So our new mean is going to be 83.7. So our mean has decreased. So the mean is definitely not the same, which eliminates choice A. Since choice A is claiming that the mean is staying the same along with the mode. Well, let's now talk about the mode. So instead of the mean, remember the mode is the value that occurs the most in the data set. So currently we have 78, 82, 85, 88, and 90. So there is no mode. The mode, there is no mode of that data set. If we add 79 into the mix, well, you'll have 78, 79, 82, 85, 88, and 90. There's still going to be no mode when you add in 79 because 79 is occurring once, every other number is occurring once. So the mode is currently staying the same. So from that, we can eliminate choice B because the mode is staying the same and choice B does not have the mode in it. That leaves us with choice C and D. We have the median mode and range, or we have just the mode and range. So the range is subtracting the highest and lowest values in your set of data. So let's take a look at that range. So we have a range we have in the current range, we would be subtracting the highest number of 90 minus the lowest number of 78. So 90 minus 78 is 12. The new range Let's see. Well, if we're adding 79 into the mix, into the data set, we're still taking the highest number of 90 and the lowest number of 78. It's still going to be 12. 79 isn't the highest or lowest number, so the range is not going to be affected. So that's good. Choice C and D, so far we have the mode is the same and the range is the same. The last piece is to just see what happens to the median. So the median of the Remember, the median is your middle data point. It's going to be when all of your data points are lined up in numerical order from least to greatest, it's your middle number. So in the current median, if we look at our data set, it actually is listed from lowest to smallest number. So we have 78, 82, 85, 88, 90. And there's five numbers in the data set. So we have a middle number. We have our number right in the middle is 85. So let's see what happens. Let's see if the new median is 85 as well, or if it changes when we add 79. So that would mean 78. So 79 would go right after 78 and before 82 in numerical order. So now when we have our list, we have six numbers. So we're going to have to take the mean of the middle two numbers, which is 82 and 85. 
And if we add and find the sum of 82 and 85, it's 167. And if we divide that by 2, the new median is actually 83.5. It has decreased from the original. It did not stay the same. So we can't have answer choice D because the median did not stay the same. It was only the mode and range. So our answer is going to be choice C.